An archaic meaning of coxcomb is a vain or conceited man. So is the coxcomb pistol in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands going to make you vain? Or are you going to throw it in the trash immediately? What's up, YouTube? Zero here. And today I have a gun review of the coxcomb Torg pistol in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. In this video, I'll go through the overview of the coxcomb that I'm utilizing in this video. Then I'll get into some more gameplay, and I'll talk about the pluses and minuses of the coxcomb. Then, I'll get into fate or hate. Is the coxcomb fated to be in the fate maker's inventory? Or are you going to hate it and should you trash it immediately? Before I get into it, I do want to say if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands content. There are a bunch of RPGs on the horizon, so I'm going to be posting a bunch of videos on those. So don't miss out. Thank you so much in advance for doing so. It does really help out me and my channel. Without further ado, let's talk about the coxcomb of our door. Mine's chaotic. I mentioned that this was a Torg pistol. The damage is at 1138 multiplied by 2. So it's going to consume 2 ammo per shot. The accuracy is at 58%. Handling is at 60%, reload time is at 2.2 seconds. The fire rate's at 1.8, the magazine size is at 6. This does have an area damage of plus 85, and this has a 1.5 times zoom. Of course, this is a Torg, so sticky ammo stuck to an enemy is going to increase damage. For this coxcomb, stuck gyro jets increase damage by 30% each. So that's a nice bonus of this gun. Of course, all Tor guns have that sticky increase, which I've mentioned in previous videos is absolutely amazing to have. So does that make the coxcomb the cream of the crop, or is this still a gun that you're going to hate? Well, let's get into the pluses and minuses of the coxcomb. The first plus is that, of course, it is a Tor weapon. Torg in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands really does kill it with that sticky ammo. Being able to stick enemies and then deal increased damage can absolutely tear through enemies quicker than a lot of other guns. Of course, not all other guns, but it does put Torg as one of the best manufacturers in the game when it comes to the sticky ammo and being able to tear through enemies. The gun actually is pretty easy to use. You're going to fire and the recoil is going to take you a little high, but not too bad. Your gun's going to be able to come right back to center. Now, the magazine size is low, and if your coxcomb like mine consumes two ammo per shot, you're only going to be on three shots. Of course, you can see I have eight rounds in the chamber. That's because I have an increased magazine size from my build. But if this was a normal coxcomb, I'd only have three shots. So I'd be reloading fairly often. Now the reload isn't bad, but it's not the fastest of pistols when it comes to reloads. It is still relatively quick though. So you can get back into the battle. Not too bad. What's really nice though is the multiplied by two. So every shot is consuming two ammo. That means as long as you hit your target, you're gonna be hitting your target with at least two of your rounds. So you're already gonna be increasing your damage dealt to that target. The fire rate's pretty good, so you can fire relatively quickly and hit your target with all of your ammo. So that was nice for this coxcomb as well. The zoom on this is actually perfect. I like this 1.5 times zoom for not just the coxcomb, but pistols in general. Pistols aren't typically the longer range of guns, but this allows me to hit targets at a little bit further of ranges, which is always nice so I can stay at a relatively decent distance from my enemies. I don't have to be too close to hit my enemies, and the bullets travel relatively straight, which is nice as well. So now that we've talked about the pluses and minuses of the coxcomb, let's get into fate or hate. Is the coxcomb fated to be in the fate maker's inventory or are you going to hate it and should you trash it immediately? 
Well, the Coxcomb is a Torg. It deals increased damage for each sticky stuck on the enemy. If you have one that consumes two ammo per shot, it's going to be relatively easy to stick enemies with your full clip. On top of that, the fire rate's good, making it even easier, and the bullets fly straight. Now, the reload isn't as quick as I would like it to be. However, being able to deal that enhanced damage on enemies is really nice to have so you can tear through enemies very quickly. On top of that, if you get a sight like mine, it's going to be even better. Now, you don't want too much of a zoom because it may be hard to target enemy after enemy, but this zoom is nice and the iron sight would be nice as well. Overall, I love this gun. I love the Coxcomb and I love Torg guns in general, so I recommend fading this gun. But let me know if you've used this and if you love it as much as I do. Leave a comment in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Until next time, peace.